Tonight, new disturbing details about a man accused of hitting a woman's car and then sexually assaulting her in a parking lot. Last week, Greg Joseph Desjardins of Muskegon was charged in this incident, but he, this is far from his only run-in with the law. News 8's Demetrius Sanders with more on his criminal history. Demetrius. For criminal sexual conduct in the 80s, Dujardine was given a life sentence but was later paroled. Months later, he's a suspect for a sexual assault once again. Last week, this man, Greg Joseph Dujardine, was charged with second-degree criminal sexual conduct and being a habitual offender. On Sunday, September 8th, Dujardine was accused of following a woman as she drove southbound on US-31 from Duncan Woods in Grand Haven. Deputies say he struck a woman's vehicle, and after she stopped in a gas station parking lot believing he wanted to file a police report, the woman says she was physically and sexually assaulted but was able to fight him off and call police. And 1986, Dujardine was found guilty of second-degree criminal sexual conduct, according to court documents obtained by News 8. On April 24th of that year, an employee at a Grand Haven self-service gas station said she was searching for her car keys after work. That's when a man later identified as Dujardine grabbed her and put his hand over her mouth. Prosecutors said he then threw her to the ground, unbuckled her pants, and touched her inappropriately. He was sentenced to 2 to 15 years. In 1989, Dujardine was found guilty of first-degree criminal sexual conduct for raping an Ottawa County park attendant. Court documents show in July of 1988, deputies said Dujardine struck a park attendant in her head with an object and then forced her to have sex with him in a storage room at North Shore Park in Ferrysburg. He was sentenced to life, but according to Michigan Department of Corrections online records, he was paroled in January of this year. Nine months later, Dujardine is under investigation investigation again for sex crimes, seemingly targeting strangers. Now, I have reached out to the Department of Corrections to see if they could shed any light on the circumstances surrounding Dujardine's parole hearing. As we learn those details, we will be sure to share them, and Dujardine is expected back in court next month. Brian.